What's it been like coming into this program with a lot of new faces, new, new changes around here, but you know, what has it been like overall for you? Um, it's been a great experience. I mean, I've, I've kind of been a, a part of something similar before where um, I've been a program, been a part of a program that's starting off uh, with a new coach and a bunch of transfers. So, yeah, we've all been getting along really well. Um, it's a lot of excitement for the season. And overall, it's been a really positive experience so far. What was it about this program and this coaching staff that made you want to be a part of it? Um, I mean, I feel like they kind of have the reputation for being a, an amazing staff uh, at USC. They've had a lot of success. Uh, been to the Elite Eight, been to the tournament multiple times. Um, I think they've had around 11 NBA players since 2018. So they definitely uh, know what they're doing. And um, they're all good people, trustworthy. So they felt I felt the most comfortable with this staff. Uh, so that was essentially it, yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's really professional. Um, he knows what he's talking about, obviously. Um, he knows how to run a program. And, and uh, he, ex he's, he expects a lot uh, out of us, but um, it's a good thing. And uh, overall, I mean, he's a laid back, chill person um, and treats everyone with respect. So it's been great. Um, I just I just want to be a part of a winning program, uh, to be honest. Um, last year, uh, my old school, we didn't we had won around I think eight or nine games. So basketball is fun when you're winning, so I want to be a part of. I want to do anything I can do to be a part of a winning program. What have kind of been the early steps for you guys gelling together, meshing, so that you're able to find that success? You know, once you hit the court. Yeah. Um, I mean, we we've been this is the way Coach Enfield uh, does it is we we play a lot during practice. Um, it's not like all drills, so we go up and down a lot. Um, so we kind of get starting to get that uh, feel for each other, and and um, yeah, I think we're we're all gelling really well. Um, we all are good friends off the court as well. Um, so I think the chemistry is definitely building, and everybody's getting along, and there's definitely a general good vibe in the locker room. Came to States for high school, right? Correct. What was that transition like for you? Um, so I, I, I came for my junior year and then my senior year. Um, the transition was actually a little easier than I expected. Um, I was at a boarding school in Florida called the Montverde Academy. I'm known for basketball. Um, there was so many international people there, so they have a great community for international students and I had a bunch of international teammates and you're in the dorms so they they kind of you're kind of around a lot of other international people so that kind of makes that transition a little easier um, after that I went to California and I feel like I feel like I was already adjusted at that point did you know Samet before he got here? yeah I did I did I played with Samet um, at the U19 World Cup in Latvia um, we were teammates. We, uh, I think, I think we finished. I want to say sixth or fifth. It wasn't the best tournament for us, but I love playing with Samet. Um, he's a great guy on and off the court. So yeah, I've I've known him for about four or five years. Did you help get him to Dallas a little bit? Were you talking to him while he was making his decision? Um, I mean, I've. Uh, I've definitely had a conversation like of how it was because I got here before he committed, so I got here and he kind of asked me how everything was, and I was just honest with him and, and told him how everything was, and um, I mean, yeah, we're really happy to have him here. So I hope I had a part in his decision. How can a guy that that size, you know, really impact just the, the, the game for everybody else? I mean, it's, it's it's always great to have a guy at that size. Like it's very rare. He's just defensively, first of all, he's just clogging the paint. Um, people are scared to go in there because you know, he's a great shot blocker, rim protector. And on the other side, like he, he has great footwork and great touch. So um, we could feed it to him in the post, also in the pick and roll. He's a good lob catcher, good finisher. 
So, I mean, having someone that size, and especially as mobile as he is, um, it's very special and we're really lucky to have him. What did it mean to you when you saw what the schedule smelled like for you guys uh, come from the major Brown? I think you spent some time with Arizona, I think. Yeah. Uh, seeing that kind of schedule, that you're going to get to play some big teams. How much does that excite you? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm really excited. That's kind of the part of the reason I came to SMU is to be in the best basketball conference in the country. So um, I'm really excited that we're starting off with some strong teams. Uh, in conference play, also um, our non-conference schedule is also pretty tough. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's what I signed up for, so I'm I'm really excited for it. Gorner. All right, so Goriner, yes, yes. What's the little symbol? Um, so it's I mean, the Goriner is what I what I go by in America. In Turkish, it's Gorener, so it turns the O into a uh sound. It's like an accent. Okay. Yeah. Gorner's fine though. So Gorner's good. Yeah, he does. His is, his is like a, on the G 